When I was live on the Swiss television an hour and a half ago, I was having the rest of the program before I would speak, and it was speaking of crisis, people getting poorer in Greece, uh, wars, uh, disasters. So it's almost irrelevant to say that we are in the big problem compared to all the horrible things in the world. But it's true that for us, who are now focused on this project since years, it's a bad moment. Yeah, it's really a bad moment. André was in the cockpit, and as always, we run the weather models until the last moment to have the latest information before taking off. And uh, we see that the conditions worsen, that it, it was on the edge. Maybe people who heard us this morning understood that it was on the edge. We took the decision to go. Yellow-green, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yellow-green. We took the decision to go, but not everybody was enthusiastic. But we had a consensus that it was worth, w w worth trying it. And uh, now it's not worth trying it anymore. Uh, the, the occlusion, that means the, the, the front with the, with the rain, moved more to the east. It destroyed the trajectory we were going to take. It was, uh, th th there were clouds over the airplane on the fourth morning when we needed sun to be able to climb back to high altitude. This is the worst thing that can happen for a solar airplane. Now, stay with us, Bertrand. I think we can go to Nagoya now. Um, no, just a couple of minutes. We, we will have an interview with André, who's now left the plane. You were speaking to him earlier. Um, he, well, what's his state of mind? He seems uh, to, to be able to, to handle it, and uh, he even smiled when he got out of the plane. You know, he knows, like us, that it's better to get out of the plane on the runway of Nagoya that in the air on the third day of the Pacific with a parachute overhead. Uh, so, of course, he's disappointed like us. It's, you know, we were all going for it. Uh, we were just looking at the time, so in five minutes, and then uh, one of the people of the team pulled me in the back room and said, look, we have to show you this before you give the go. And I just saw on the screen that the corridor where the plane was supposed to go was, was full of clouds. Again, it he, he, he changed. So, um, well, there's one of the team in Nagoya right yeah, now. It's, a Gre it's Gregory. So if, if Greg is watching Solar Impulse TV, he knows that I'm busy and he cannot call me. Well, well let's have a couple of words, Bertrand, right now to all the team. I know they're watching us in Nagoya and team in Hawaii as well. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say to them right now? Well, I'm devastated for them because I know that since... <laughs> a month and a half, they're desperate to get to Hawaii to make that leg, which is the most difficult one. And I saw on their face how happy they were that we could finally go, you know, that they were uh, able to, to get the plane on the runway and, and, and move. And uh, now if they feel as disappointed as we are, I, I'm really sorry for them. Okay, well, if there's any consolation to them and to you as well, uh, I'm looking now at thousands of people who are commenting right now, and it's, they're all saying, better luck next time. We're all behind you. Stay strong. Third time is a lucky charm. As you know yourself from uh, going around the world in a balloon, you did it third time round. So uh, let's hope that that is uh, it's fate that we're going to make it uh, but next But you know, it's, it's beautiful to see the people encouraging us because you have two types of people. It's the people who are comfortable enough within themselves who can participate to a project like this, disappointed if we fail, uh, encouraging us, and happy if we succeed. And then you have the other people who are so uncomfortable inside themselves that they are happy when we have problems, and they are uh, happy when people fail, and they, are, and they feel sorry if other people succeed. So, you know, it's very interesting. You can judge the quality of people by the way they react in front of the problem of others. And I'm happy to see there are so many people encouraging us and being sorry for us. That's really nice. And it gives hope. Well, you also get the third kind of people, actually, the ones who've just joined and says, has it taken off yet? <laughs> so uh, we're getting that as well. Uh, Greg's phoning me now. I think you're going to have to have a chat with Greg very shortly. Now, uh, we're going to go now to uh, an interview with Henri Borschberg after he left the plane. Let's see if we can see that now in Nagoya. Very good. Andre has to go, huh? Andre doit partir. 
Okay, Andre, this must be terribly uh, disappointing <laughs> for you. There it is, I think uh, you used <laughs> two, two words which are very appropriate, terribly and disappointing. So, uh, uh, despite the fact that, you know, I, I said that I would believe we go and I will leave the coast of Japan, uh, it's still difficult, of course, because uh, we really want to make it, we really are looking to find a way to make it. Uh, but I think it's reasonable uh, not to uh, exceed certain, certain limits. And uh, we have the tools to evaluate the risk, and, uh, and uh, the weather is so unstable of the Pacific that um, uh, the perspective to be in a bad situation in five days from now is not acceptable, so we better renounce, huh? So you're, you're satisfied with the decision? Huh? I don't have the information there, but I trust the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the control oh, center. Just a second, just a second. Oh, sorry. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, so are you are you satisfied with the decision? I mean, satisfied certainly not, but I trust that uh, they take uh, they take a good decision. They have all the all the information there. We discussed it on the radio, uh, and uh, and uh, you know I'm sure it's. Uh, Despite the fact it's very hard, that's the right way to go. And, and again, as you said, uh, tell me about your feeling at the moment. Uh, uh, simply low, I mean, low energy uh, and, uh, you know, need to digest this, need also to really go into this, uh, this weather, this decision process, this, uh, uh, the way to analyze, uh, so it will take, take, uh, take a bit of time, we'll do it certainly today. Uh, but you know, it's in this situation, your energy is going down, so you have to really reboot the entire system. I think that's what's necessary. All right, thank you. Thank you very much.